Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two different kinds of Justin's Almond Butter. I have the vanilla. I have the maple. And, and I'm just squeezing it. I, it didn't say too well. It didn't say it's squeezing. We, it, you just, when you get a packet like this, you just feel like squeezing it. So, or at least we do. <laughs> We're warped, we do. Uh, we got these free. Uh, they're, Justin sent us uh, some free uh, peanut butter cups. And in the peanut butter cups, there was a coupon to uh, receive uh, these almond butters. So uh, we picked these up at Target. They're normally a dollar two a piece, so that's not much at all. These are a dollar, like these little packets. Yeah, these little packets are only a dollar each, but we got them free with so our. You could coupon. probably get you could at least one, one sandwich out of there, so that's pretty that's, good. A dollar for a sandwich. I don't know. That's a lot. I, it feels like, how much you want. To me, it feels like a lot. It says these are. Uh, 1.15 ounces and it, I mean it feels pretty full. It's pretty full. Do you mine, want to try the vanilla first? Yeah, that's fine. Mine, just to let you know, mine's one packet is 190 calories. What's yours? My packet is 180. 180 okay. so calories yours is for the vanilla. Less. So I there is a um, thing that tear. says tear here, but because we're at home, I'm going normally at lunch you would do that but since we're at home I want to show you how much you get so I got these plates out a piece of fuzz on it <laughs> nothing's come out yet oh there it is oh okay well it felt like more maybe because the packet's thick got it, air in it or something it, I don't, that's still quite a bit though it smells good. Mm, it does smell good. <sighs> that's a pretty good sized doll. That's one sandwich. It that is one sandwich. He's right. For for us, that's one sandwich. You so, go ahead and put it on. You put on both. I got um I got out some regular uh, bland bland plain. yes. Kevin pre prefers Ritz crackers. Of course. And we have Ritz crackers, but I said, you know what? If we put this on Ritz crackers, then it. It's gonna have a buttery uh, flavor to it just from the Ritz. Oh, so, okay. So I said, let's try it on plain crackers and uh, so that we can really get the, the full flavor. So a lot of you have told me that you like this, especially Valerie, she loves this stuff. So here's the vanilla. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah, I don't know that it was all that great on that saltine cracker, but it's oh, really good. Oh, that's really good. If you were to put that on a, mm. a piece of bread, it'd be really good. That is so good. Wow. You can really, really taste the almonds. Oh yeah, it's got a strong almond flavor. And the vanilla. I love strong. the almond flavor. And I love the vanilla flavor. That think, is so good. I think I'll try the next one without a cracker. Really? Yeah, it just tastes it by itself. Just tastes a little piece of it. I mean, if you had it on bread, it's gonna you can taste it. It's just um, the cracker is kind of it's kind of strong. It's I good. think that's very good. It is very good. And here I'll open this one. And we usually buy 35 calorie bread. So um, you know, 180 calories. And if you only use one piece of bread, then you know. You've got a very, I think, low-calorie uh, lunch full of flavor. I really like that. These are a little um, soft. I mean, a little, like, watery. This one has Well, almost... you did squeeze it to death. Well, you got to mix it up a little bit, you know. What do you expect after working <laughs> it for... Hey, this is the maple one. Um. No. You want to spread it? Sure. If you want me to. Oh, are you gonna try it on a cracker? Do you yeah, want to try I'm going to try it because I tried the last one on a cracker, so I might as well, might as well be equal. Okay, like that. Okay. Mm. Sorry, Guido has allergies, so he's driving me crazy. Guido is our pug. In case you don't watch our vlogs. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not first. <laughs> <laughs> Not going better. I 
has a maple syrup flavor. That's good too. Mm. I like how it's got the little granules in there. Mm. That's very good. Try it, just look at all the spoon. It's like little, I don't know if they're nut pieces or what, but they're little granules or something. And you can kind of fill them in your teeth. In your, you know, stop. Sorry. That's, that's good. very good. I like the vanilla better. Did I you? know that's probably crazy to you. I like the maple. The maple's not a really strong, it doesn't have a really maple syrupy flavor, but it does have a little bit of a sweet maple flavor. The vanilla is good, but it just had, it had, I don't know, maybe it was just too vanilla for me. I don't know. I, I like that strong vanilla taste and you could really, for me, I like, I like to be able to taste that almond and the vanilla really allowed you to taste the almond, whereas the maple, I can taste the almond, but the maple comes through stronger. They're both really, no, I really good. I like the vanilla better. You, you do? Yeah. It tastes like candy, almost yeah. like a piece of candy, whereas the, the maple doesn't, it just tastes like a almond butter. Well, I'm a sucker for anything that's unhealthy or candy or... That's not <laughs> course, bad, though. This is all natural. Um, th that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, they are good. Not something I'd want to eat all the time, but, it, but it's definitely worth buying a couple packages and keeping around and making a sandwich or runs while you're in the mood for it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a great idea, and, and you could put that easily... Uh, in a lunch. How long do they keep for? I wonder. This is good until October. October, and we've had it for a while already. Yeah, we've had it for at least. We've probably a month had it for a month already. And so all, so it almost out. like eight or nine months, probably somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Because some of these natural peanut butters they expire really fast. Now this one says good until May 29th. Right. But like we've had it for a month, and it might have been on the shelf for a while too. I didn't check right. the date. I could have maybe reached in the back and got an even newer one. So those were good. I recommend them. Those would be great for lunch. You know, even um, if you use two pieces of bread, that's only 70 calories. I still think that makes a great lunch mm -hmm. or a nice a picnic, dinner, something like that. So um, hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.